Hispanic Heritage Month is celebrated every year from September 15th to October 15th. During this time, we recognize the contributions made and the important presence of Hispanic and Latino Americans to the United States that celebrate their heritage and culture. Hispanic Heritage Month started in 1968 as Hispanic Heritage Week under President Lyndon Johnson and was expanded by President Ronald Reagan to cover a 30-day period. It was enacted into law on August 17, 1988. This year's national theme is Shaping the Bright Future of America. Hispanics have had a profound and positive influence on our country through their strong commitment to family, faith, hard work, and service. They have enhanced and shaped our national character with centuries-old traditions that reflect the multi-ethnic and multicultural customs of their community. We hope that you will learn just how influential Hispanics have been through their traditions and contributions that they continue to uphold in society today. We begin our program with a traditional dance that has shaped the future of America.
Aguilera, Latino musicians impact the music on American past and future cannot be celebrated without mentioning the Queen of Tejano music. Here to tell us more about the music icon Selena is CJ.
Chavez was a Mexican American that helped shape the future of the American working class. Mexican American Cesar Chavez was a prominent union leader and or a labor organizer. Motivated by his own hardships, in 1962, Chavez founded the National Farm Working Workers Association. Through Chavez, Latin American farm workers discovered that they could demand dignity and better working conditions. Trusting non-violent methods, Chavez drew attention for his cause via boycotts, marches, and hunger strikes. People who refused to buy grapes realized that even the smallest judgment could help force historic change. Despite many challenges, Chavez was able to secure raises and improve conditions for farm workers in California, Texas, Arizona, and Florida. The thought of a bright future in America is unimaginable without the many light advances that make up our culture. Whether it's the salsa, mambo, cha-cha-cha, acarreno, -cha -cha, lampada, Latin American music has two common factors, rhythm and rhyme. The Latin rhythm is defined by distinct beats and rhyme gets a whole lot groovy. We have all at some point danced, seen the dance, or wished to dance in the sensuous Latin style. Such is the power of Latin dances that it is the rhythm of which we dance to today. Let's give it up for our very own Hispanic Heritage Dancers.
The country we call home wouldn't be what it is today. No matter what is happening in the world of politics and policy, Americans must find respect and celebration in their hearts for our fellow Americans. In recent news, we have heard that the DACA Act will be repealed. Let's see how DACA has helped shape the bright future of America and how important it is for it to remain. Come to America for a better life. You can start from scratch. You don't have to be rich to live a beautiful life. Your children will be able to dream big and accomplish their goals. Their talents will be recognized. America is a land of opportunity. We are equal under the law, but are we really? The president had tried to provide legal status for millions with the stroke of a pen mostly undocumented immigrants who are the parents of citizens. I think it's not quite right. There's nothing ambiguous about wanting to have a deportation force to expel 11 million people. If you want to be here legally, you have to apply to be here legally. Our country is in serious trouble. When do we beat Mexico at the border? They're laughing at us, at our stupidity. When Mexico sends its people they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. I will build a great, great wall on our southern border, and I will have Mexico pay for that wall. Yeah. Mark my words. Yeah. Is it true what people say about illegal immigrants? That they just bring problems into this country? Sometimes, that's just not the case. I am one of the 11 million undocumented immigrants living in the shadows of the United States. I decided to stand before you today and reveal these unexpected realities because this might be my only chance to convey the truth to all of you that undocumented immigrants are people too. People with dreams, aspirations, hopes, and loved ones. People like me. People who have become a part of the American society and way of life and who yearn to help make America great again, without the construction of a wall built on hatred and prejudice. It's not just the valedictorians or the 4.0s, it's the kid that learned English in a year. The biggest struggle we constantly face is a wrong impression of who these people are in the general public. A lot of people come to believe that they are gang members, drug dealers. They're People with their own dreams and aspirations. No different from the people born here. A lot of folks forget that most of us used to be them. We forget that. Unless you're one of the first Americans, a Native American, you came from someplace else. Somebody brought you. Work hard, do everything right, and you'll succeed but they each hit the same wall. Without citizenship or a social security number, many young people don't get to finish their education and are stuck in limbo. Small groups began to appear in the shadows on college campuses and weren't afraid to fight for their education. In most cases, parents that are illegal immigrants come to this country to have a better life and they grow to be American as possible. We're going to have to decide whether we're people who accept the cruelty of ripping children from their parents' arms, or whether we actually value families and keep them together uh, for the sake of all of our communities. One day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. In the end of the day, we should live up to being the land of opportunity and not limit anyone. Immigration isn't new to this country. It has been around for several decades. Looking back, if we wanted something to be changed, we'd come together and make that change. Momentum is building.
there are many others, and they all have a story to tell.
stars that unite you on the lips when you kiss. Open yourself in the fire of the golden swarm that is made in your curls and the two blue birds that in the stronger eyelashes ring and fall. Open yourself into an ultra-human love that makes dust the crystal of your lips and so sweet your heart is sweet in me so much that upon dying the bees sting me. Let's give our poets their snaps. At this time, we would like to announce our 2017 Hispanic Heritage Month Art Contest winner. We are incredibly thankful for the students who submitted entries for the art contest and would like to congratulate CJ, our first place winner.